Hey everybody. Um, so uh, so Joel has made his his uh, special uh, drink, and we're going to test it out on the field today. But Joel has thrown down a challenge. Mm -hmm. So he has challenged me to a race on Colt Pipeline for what two or three miles after our warm up. Four miles. Four race. miles race. One mile warm up. Four miles of racing. Four mile. Four to five mile cool down. Now, you know, to make this more fair, so, you know, Joel has some advantages, you know, he's, he's about 20 pounds lighter than me and about 20 years younger than me. And so I decided to try to even it out a bit. So Joel is going to be wearing a weight vest. It's heavy. Yeah, it's about a 15 pound weight vest. 15, I thought it was 12. Okay, yeah, this, is the, their pen. this one's the 15 pounder. So, so Joel's gonna run with that. And uh, he's going to be drinking his tailwind stuff. Oh, he, by the way, it's called the Underdog Ultra Fuel. No, Underdog's Power Fuel. Right. That's what we're calling it. So if it doesn't work and you mixed it wrong, then that'll probably work against him. I'll be using regular tailwind, and we'll check the results during and after the event. All right, let's go over to the trail and get this started. Let's do this. <laughs> Mike and I just arrived at the Tolt Pipeline Trailhead. We're gonna do a one mile warm up on the flat part over here. Then we are gonna head, well, I'm gonna put on a 15 pound weight vest as we agreed to. We're gonna go up this giant 260 foot hill and then we're gonna keep going for a few miles and whoever, you know, gets there the fastest is yeah. the winner, you know. And how many miles? We're gonna do 4.1 miles from the bottom of this hill that way. It's gonna be maybe 800 to 1,000 feet of elevation gain. So it's gonna be, right. it's gonna be really hard with this vest on. Now Joel will see how hard it is for me to carry this extra weight. So I'm about 200 pounds. Joel's, you're about what, 81, 82 these days? Uh, you gained 180. weight over the holidays. Warming up. This part's supposed to be slow. Wow, it's cold, miserable, and wet, raining. Um, yeah, and we're heading back to the parking lot. We're about to get started on our race here. I told Mike not to give away his strategy because he's like, oh, I'm not gonna take it very hard up the hill. I'm like, hey, keep, that, win. That's my strategy. keep that strategy to yourself. So Joel is gonna grab the vest and then we're gonna run up this hill, starting out our three mile run. Okay, Joel, how's it feel? This is really heavy. Yeah, it's not that heavy. It's try, like 15 pounds. Try having permanently 20 pounds weight on your body, it's not like the, me. It's not the same. No, it's not the same. That's it's, why it's five pounds less, so you can... It should be like 10 pounds less. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a real struggle. All right, let's, okay. let's head up that hill. Here we are at the gate. This is the starting line. Wish us luck. Let's see how this goes. Start luck your watches. Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay. Are you ready, Mike? Ready. Okay. Ready? Set, go. Dude, this sucks. As long as we stick together for the hill, maybe it'll be more fair. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Mike's trying to take the lead. Yeah. This is what it feels like to be a heavy person. It's, yeah. I'm never gonna eat a cookie again. Can I have your cookie? <laughs> You're not gonna eat it anyway, right? <laughs> oh my god. I'm struggling. I'm at like 84% of my heart rate. 
Mike has already taken the lead. Okay, I've taken a small lead, but I'm running out of gas fast. It's a steep hill. That's awesome. This sucks, he's got a lead. And here's the top of the first hill climb. I'm struggling. 86% heart rate. Oh God. Just catching my breath. There goes Mike. Let's do it. Oh my God. Wait, this sucks. Well, I kind of caught up to Mike, but my heart rate's very high, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up much longer. I don't like this race. This must be what it feels like to weigh 30 pounds more, not 20 pounds more. Oh my God, we're like less than a mile in and I'm dying. Mike is still ahead of me by about 60 feet. <sighs> All right, I kind of caught up to Mike. We're at mile 1.4 or something. I have no idea. My watch isn't working. 1.27 or something. Uh, I'm in zone four, 85% heart rate. Just trying to keep up with him on the flat. He got ahead of me again. We're finally going downhill. So I'm gonna try to catch up. Catch up. Okay, I beat Joel. How's it feel, Joel? Are you sure? Yeah, 3.1 miles. Oh my God. Okay. Oh. oh my God. Oh, yeah. Well, I was at 88% heart rate, basically the entire last mile and a half. And I, and Mike had no hills to slow him down. So, you know, I guess he deserves it. Good job. Oh, that was hard, even even without the weighted vest. Oh my god. Permanent weighted vest. Okay, well, now we just have to do some slow four or five miles. I think I gotta walk a little bit. Hey, on. hey, I didn't tell you earlier, but the winner has to wear the vest back. What? Yo. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. But you're gonna have to slow down. Okay. So we're uh, walking back to the car. Mike won, because uh, we already got that back there. Yeah, it feels good to be a winner. Uh, I'm struggling, I think I got, I might have strained my hamstring with this stupid vest on. We're gonna go back and figure out how much this vest actually weighs, because I think it's heavier than 15 pounds, maybe. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, we'll check you back at the house, at the house. So yeah, we're just doing the walk of shame back to the car. <laughs> no shame with me. I mean, I'm doing the walk of shame. I'm the one that lost to this, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back at the parking lot. I'm gonna ditch this super heavy vest. Yeah, you can ditch it in my car. And we are gonna do a one mile cool down. All right, let's go do our cool down. Let's do the cool down. Yeah. 